Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to the first Get episode. Yeah. Probably just gonna be four episodes for this. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's get started. Git is a software that allows you to keep track of changes made to your project over time. Git works by recording the changes you make to a project, storing these changes, then allowing you to reference them as needed. We we'll learn Git by using it to, um, what happened? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, we'll learn Git by using it to help us write a screenplay called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Code. Harry P Programmer and the Sorcerer's Code. So let's take a look at the screenplay project and see one t dot text. At this text, so Harry, programmer in the sorcerer's code scene. One, press enter to create a new empty line. Once you created the line, click run. And next. Now that we have started working on the screenplay, let's turn the sorcerer's code directory into a Git project. We'll do this with git init. The word init means initialize. The command sets up all the tools git needs to begin um, tr tracking changes made to the project. So, in the terminal, create a new, uh, I want, what? Okay, thank you. And then notice the output. So initialize a new Git project. Git in it. Okay, yeah. Git project was created. Click next to continue. Nice. We have a Git project. Um, a Git project can be thought of having three parts: a working directory where you'll be um doing all the work, creating, editing, deleting, and organizing files. A staging area where you list changes you make to a, the working directory. A repository where Git permanently stores those changes as different versions of the project. The the Git workflow consists of editing files in the wor working directory, adding files to the staging area, and saving changes to a Git re repository. Um. So, in Git, we save changes with the comment, which we'll learn more about it in this lesson. Take a look at the diagram. So, yeah, make changes to the files. We're doing all the work. Staging area begins to ch chain bring changes into the staging area. So, as you write the screenplay, you will be changing the contents of the working directory. You can check the status of those changes with Git status. Wait, am I typing? Git status. And so check the status of the sorcerer's code, code project. In the output, notice the file in red under untracked files. Untracked means that Git sees the file but does but has not started tracking changes yet. In order for Git to start tracking scene1.txt, the file needs to be added to the staging area. We can add a file to the staging area with git as file name. The word file name here refers to the name of the file you are editing, such as scene1.txt. So add scene1.txt to the staging area, so git add file name. Okay, now what did I do wrong? Git add file name here. Yeah. Oh, file name. Oh, git add sorcerer. No, 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 scene one dot txt. Yay. Took the status. So git status. Yeah, new file, c1 text. And so we just created a new file, I'm guessing. No, 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 be added. Yeah. So, good work. Now you know how to add a file to the staging area. 
Um, imagine that we typed another line in scene one dot text. Since the file is struck, you can check the differences between the working directory and the staging area with get diff file name. Okay, in the code editor, add this text to the scene one text. Dumbo. Dumbo. Diff. I shouldn't. I sh should have known you would be here, Professor McGonagall. Run. And from the terminal, um, where is the terminal? Use the new command to check um the difference. New command to check the difference between the working directory and the state user. Um, so where's the, oh, here's the terminal, um, so notice the output is in this, as in changes to file are marked with the plus and the, are indicating, press Q on your keyboard to exit diff mode, okay, so we're gonna do git, um, diff, scene1.txt, and yeah, that, um, as the changes, to the staging area and get um um recall um add the changes to the staging area and get recall that you will need to add add the changes to the staring staging area. So how do we do that? Um. Oh, 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 so it was, sorry, I have never done this, dot, no, one dot txt, a comment is the last step in a git workflow, a, com, a commit, sorry, um, a commit permanently stores changes from the staging area inside the re repository, um, git, a git, Commit is the command we'll do next. However, one more bit of code is needed for a commit. The option M followed by message. Here's an example. Git commit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standard conventions for commit messages must be in quotation marks, written in pre present tense, and should be brief, 50 characters or less, when Using messages, make a first com commit. So we're gonna create a commit image. Um, I mean, message. Um. Um. Complete. For, um. I should. I'm just gonna do hello world. Yeah. Often with Git, you'll need to refer back in an earlier version of a project. Git co commits are stored chronologically in the repository can be viewed with Git log. From the terminal, log a list of the commits. Log. So Git log. And then hello world. Yeah, that was our thing. And next. Okay, yay. Um. You have now been introduced to the fundamental Git workflow. You learned a lot. Let's take a moment to generalize. Git is the um, industrial um, standard version control system for web developers. Use Git commands to help keep track of changes made to a project. Git in it creates a new Git rep repository. Git stash inspects the contents of the working directory and staging area. Git add, adds files from the working directory to the staging area. Git diff shows the difference between the working directory and the staging area. Git comment commit permanently stores file changes from the um, staging area in the re repository. Git log shows a list of all previous comments. Commits. Click next to um, complete this, the lesson. Yay! So how to backtrack? Um, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it, it for this video. Please subscribe, please like. Thank you so much for watching this video, and bye bye.